In this video, we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of living in Oxnard. And on this channel, we're going to tell you all about what it's like to live, work, and play in Ventura County. We hear from people all the time who are looking to move out this way. So if you have any questions or thinking about moving out or anything like that, please give us a call. The first and perhaps biggest pro for the Oxnard area is your access to the ocean and the Channel Islands Harbor. So if you love the water and getting outdoors in that kind of way, it's just a great place to be. And along with that, there's actually five free parking lots for public access. There's parking lots for the three different main beaches. There's parking lots for a swim beach within the Channel Islands Harbor. There's parking for a boat launch. There's other parking for launching your kayak and your paddle board so you can paddle through the canal system. And it's just spectacularly beautiful. Along with that, if you want to bring your best friend with you, your dog, uh, the Oxnard area is very friendly for that. Actually, um, at all three beaches, dogs are allowed with some restrictions. So it's just super fun. We love to take our dogs to the beach and go for long walks. There's beautiful miles and miles of sections of beach. And last but not least, along with this beach and water access is all the wildlife you get to see. On numerous occasions, we've seen pods of dolphins, which has been so exciting. And we've even seen them surfing the waves sometimes. And then also just a big variety of seabirds along the beach. And also in the harbor itself is just inundated sometimes with sea lions and seals. And they're a big draw. People will come to visit the harbor and park just to watch the seals and the sea lions. And they're, they're camping out on the beach, catching sun. And they're, they're extremely loud and having a great time. On the flip side, while there are a lot of parking spots, um, they tend to fill up pretty quickly on the weekends and summer and holidays because people tend to come early in the day and stay late and sometimes they have tailgate parties or they have their friends or families with these large gatherings with a loud music so it can get a little loud however because the beaches are so long they don't get overly crowded sometimes People might bring their dogs at a time that isn't designated. Between nine and five is supposed to be no dogs and they might let their dogs run around off leash. So that can be an issue if you don't like dogs. As Bart mentioned, there's this little swim cove beach and sometimes trash will come up on the beach. And the, even though there's a lot of different trash cans, it might sit around because people haven't thrown away what they need to. But we've seen people coming over and picking up the trash and just really taking care of the beach. Another thing that happens that's a kind of negative is that when there's high tide once in a while, it might bring in up some tar. And so when you're walking or walking your dog, you might actually step in some, but you just have to clean up your feet with a little bit of um, Dawn and that will help. And there's more pros related to the beach and water access. You have essentially three main sections of beach in Oxnard. The first one I'll mention is the Silver Strand Beach area. What's cool about that area is you have actually an outdoor shower, you have restrooms, and the waves there are phenomenal. It is a destination spot for surfers who are coming there, especially on the good wave days. You'll, it's fun just to go there and watch the local surfers who are so talented carving up the waves. And then on smaller days, it's still a family friendly beach. You can boogie board, you'll see people fishing in that area. So, and, and it's a real popular local hangout. Tons of people coming there wanting, you know, coming with their families and their friends, very popular spot. There's also a trail that goes from the Silver Strand Beach along a seawall, and you can walk all the way to the public swim beach in the Channel Islands Harbor, which is super fun. The next main beach section is the Hollywood Beach, and that's another big, beautiful, long stretch of beach. A really cool thing about the Hollywood Beach as well is there is a cove there. It's a little bit of a walk to get to it, but there's a very more private cove there where you can go swimming 
And when you get there, you just feel like you're instantly on vacation. There's not a lot of people that go to that section. The water is beautiful and clear. And because there's a seawall, it actually breaks the water from the ocean. So the water's a lot calmer. You can snorkel there and just have a great time. Also along the seawall there by the cove, you'll see lots of people fishing. That's a very popular spot for fishing. There's an outdoor bar. <laughs> There's a bar restaurant that's uh, uh, right on the edge of the beach there. There's volleyball courts. You'll see quite often people hanging out there in the sun, having their drinks, sometimes playing volleyball, being sociable and having a great time. Last but not least is the Oxnard Shores section of beach. And that's super fun as well. One thing that sets this beach area apart is there's a large green beach park that adjoins the, the beach and the water. And there's a trail system that goes through the sand dunes. There's a playground there. There's a barbecue that you'll see uh, yoga classes out in the park. And there's just all kinds of activities that are going on in the park. Bart, I'll give you that there are three amazing beaches that have easy access and are fun and different activities you can go to. However, you have to like the cold because you'll see kids that actually can brave how cold the water is, but adults, most of them you're going to see are in wetsuits or just lasting maybe 15 minutes. It's a it's about 10 degrees chillier in Oxnard than even Ventura when you go to the beaches because it's also windy. Um, especially in the afternoon, it can get really windy. There are another thing I've noticed is that there's a lot of drifting sand. And so when I'm going over to somebody's house, I, I've noticed that the paint is peeling and they said that it's like a sand blaster going against their home and taking the paint away. But if you're driving through some of the streets and they haven't cleared it out, you're going to hope you have a Subaru or four wheel drive there's a chance of tsunamis. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was an earthquake somewhere and they had a whole thing saying, don't go down to the beach, we're closing the beaches because there's a chance of a tsunami. Oh, and did I mention that on the north side of Oxnard Shores, there's a big old power plant that can be an eyesore and kind of stinky. And then you go all, traveling all the way down to the south side of Silver Strand and there's the Naval Base, which you can also be kind of an eyesore. And some of those big, large container ships will come over into the Silver Strand um, beach area. The big pro to the water access in this area is the Channel Islands Harbor. It is a huge, vast area. So if you wanted to moor your sailboat or your powerboat there, there's plenty of room for that. And then because, as Kaziah mentioned, it can be windier in the Channel Islands area, it is fantastic for people who want to sail. We'll see tons of sailboats coming out from the harbor to go out to the ocean to go sailing. There's fishing tours where boats are taking people out to go fishing out in the ocean. There's whale watching tours and, and people who are trying to tour and see the Channel Islands um, Marine Wildlife Refuge. So there's just so much to see and so many activities to participate in because of the Channel Islands Harbor. And along with that, the harbor itself is beautiful. So if you want to go tour around in your paddleboard or your kayak, or you'll see lots of little small little power boats touring in and around the canal system, there's a vast canal system that goes amongst hundreds and hundreds of dock homes and there's an outdoor mall and there's a trail system that winds around a lot of that canal system as well. So there's just so much to see. There's um, people who are sailing within the harbor. There's sailing lessons. There's also rowing clubs. So people really are having a blast and enjoying this Channel Islands Harbor area. And as mentioned, there's the swim beach within that area as well. All right, so we're going to mix things up a little bit and start with the cons this time because there just aren't that many cons in our activities in Oxnard. Some of the cons are since it's an agricultural place, we tend to have most things close around 9 or 10. That means if you get the midnight munchies, there's nothing. You better wish that you've already gone shopping and have some stuff at home. 
uh, if like my daughter, she gets really hungry around 8.45 at night and wants to order something from the restaurant and it's too late. So you need to make sure you plan ahead if you're getting hungry and order ahead. So if there's not a lot to do, you tend to have more parties at home, which is a positive if it's your house and having friends over, but it's a negative if it's your neighbor and your neighbor is having a lot of loud music or they're having the bouncy castles and a lot of people making noise throughout the whole day. There's also fireworks, fireworks year round. It doesn't matter if it's July 4th or not. It can be May and somebody has decided to just on a Wednesday do a loud firework and it's not that great for people with PTSD or also for your dogs. The dogs are not happy. While there are many different types of stores in downtown Oxnard or over, over by the docks, there are different sections of Oxnard that are a little more dilapidated. So there's a section over by the dock homes by where the Elite Theater is that has a lot of shops that have already closed down and restaurants. And then there's another section by the Walmart. The Walmart is in this mall center where most of the stores have also left, like Payless Shoe Store is no longer there. Oxnard does have some ideas of trying to get new stores to come in and revitalize those areas. It just hasn't happened yet. There's the American Tall Ship Institute, which has education, ocean-centered education for youth and adults aboard a 137-foot tall ship, which is amazing. There is the Channel Islands Boating Center, which has outdoor education, youth programs teaching boating skills, there's a rowing club, there's a sailing club, there's a family fishing day. There's just all these opportunities to get youth and adults alike out on the water. I wanna share with you some of my passions about the activities in Oxnard that I just absolutely love. So there are two farmer's markets in Oxnard. The first one is at the Channel Island Harbor and that's on Sundays and you can go there and it's about a 50-50, 50% produce, but 50% of just different art stuff. So there's a woman who makes these shell wind chimes and then you can also be walking through and you see somebody who is playing their guitar and singing or there's clothing there that you can't find other places and there's a person who does different arts, um, jewelry. And so it's really fun. And then during the week there's another one that's in downtown Oxnard that has also different trucks that food trucks that you can go to and again music playing and food and different art stands also it has a whole different feel though kind of like you are a big part of the community of all of oxnard also they have arts festivals and concerts in the in the beach and um outdoor concerts and car shows my daughter and I love going to the different car shows. And there, there's also museums you can go to. Oxnard has this one of the biggest car museums that you can go to. It's two stories and it talks about the different history of all of these different car makings. And one of our favorite cars is it looks like a boat. It's made out of wood and it looks like a little ship. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Just the workmanship is just beautiful. One of the things though that I am most passionate about is the theater. And Oxnard has what's called the Elite Theater and they are for professionals and non-professionals alike. But one of the things that they really do is that if you are an unpublished um, playwright, they will Put on, they might put on your play. And so we're able to go and watch unpublished playwrights uh, perform their plays. And it's just, just magical. Every area has its pluses and minuses. Hopefully we gave you a good idea of why we really love this area and are really happy we've moved here. We get calls all the time from people all over the country who are interested in moving here. And so if you're considering that, definitely call us, let us know 
Also, our contact information will be in the notes below the video. And keep in mind, if this Oxnard area doesn't seem right for you, just remember that Ventura County is a large area and it's extremely diverse. So we'd love to talk to you and thanks so much. Thanks for stopping by.